Hey you guys, it's Cooking with Pooh. I'm back with another video. I'm finna make a gumbo, but I'm making it as a pie. The same thing that you would need, but I'm putting crawfish, shrimp, chicken, sausage, okay? I have bell pepper, I have onions, I have celery, I have okra, and um, the, the boil, seasoning boils, and these are the seasons that I'm using. But I'm not going to put these crabs inside of there. I am going to make them on the side. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to my pot. And I'm going to put a little avocado, avocado oil. Because I want to sear the chicken before I start really boiling it like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to drop these thighs on in here. I'm not going to season them right now because I'm going to put all the seasons when everything starts to come together. Okay, so I'm going to cook them on both sides for five minutes and then I'm going to put my chicken broth and all my seasons and my vegetables in it and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to flip it. There. I'm going to put the vegetables and the seasonings in it. In here. Okay. Okay, I have onion. Celery. I'm going to put it all in there. Garlic. Bell pepper and the okra. I'm going to put that all in there. And I am going to make my own gravy to put in there too. Okay. Black pepper. Season salt. Okay, we're going to, because we want this to season I mean, we want it to boil down. And then when the chicken falls off the bone, then that's when, that's when we're going to shred the chicken. So I'll be back. I'll let that, I'm going to put some water in here, though. I'm going to put some water in here. I'm gonna do it over the uh, the meat. So I'm gonna put the water over the meat and I'll be back in an hour. I'm gonna make gravy to put inside the gumbo. I'll stir this until it get brown and then I'll put it inside the gumbo pot and I'll be back. Okay. So I made the gravy and now I'm putting it in here by little. I kind of want it thick because, like I said, I'm putting it inside of a pie, so I kind of want it thick anyway. But 
back when I put the vegetables and all that stuff that's still in there. Okay, I'm gonna open the gumbo file. And I'll show you guys. I went back and I put a little of that in there. the whole thing and put a little more. Okay. And I did show you guys, I did shred up the chicken, take the chicken out and I shredded it up. And then I'm going to put the shrimps and stuff in there too. I say I want it a little thick because I'm putting it in a pie crust. Okay, here go the uh, sausages. I'm gonna put in there. Shrimps. And it's the crawfish. Okay, and like I said, I'm not going to put the crabs in there because I have the crabs, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna cook the crabs on the side. So I'm gonna let that cook for probably like 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, I put the um, the gumbo inside the crust. So now let me put the top. Um, dough on top of it. See, when it thaw out, you got to be careful because do what it want to do. Okay. So you're going to lay that across. Okay. I'm gonna do that all the way around. Then take a knife and slice it. And we're gonna leave because everything is done already. So we're just gonna leave it in there until the top crust get crusty. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It's fully done. I just took it out. This is how the finished touch is looking like. Okay, so we're gonna, the size is very crunchy. Okay. Ooh, I like it like that. You see that brown crust like that? Probably ain't gonna come out as good. I'm saying like falling apart, so. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so that's the gumbo. So if you like it, 
Like, comment, and subscribe.